uh, everything you've been talking about this morning and, and for the last several years about the border, this is this is of a magnitude we've never seen in our lifetime, where a state with Governor Abbott, who has not been that hardcore about these things, to be sure, but you know certainly as Abraham Lincoln said, stand with a man when he's right, for as long as he's right, and part with him when he's wrong. Right now he's right about this. And the mere idea that the federal government is going to allow the invasion of the country and that when a state objects the way they have and the court's now going to weigh in in full, there could be a constitutional crisis like we have we have not seen since the Civil War. And I don't think people fully appreciate well, that. This whole idea of a Republican guarantee and that the federal government guarantees to the states that, they're, that they will be protected from invasion is pretty clear, and it, it's not ambiguous. And the idea that there are people crossing our border, and one, we don't know where they're from, they're coming in numbers that are invasion-like, if not literally an invasion, the 100,000 coming from communist China, these are military-age men. When we say 100,000, that's 10 combat. People understand 10,000 is a combat division. We hit the beaches in Normandy uh, for D-Day, I think, with 145,000 uh, troops. Uh, Patton's Third Army was 325,000 troops. This is what happens in a month. These are, these are massive, massive combat division-type invasions. These are special operatives who are in this country. The amount of sabotage they can create in this country in 2024, an election year, the idea, I mean, all praise to Governor Abbott for, for standing up this way. Where is everybody else? I think there's 25 states now signed up to this. But where is Congress paying for, for the government to say, look, you know, we want to we change our immigration policy, let more people in, right? And we're going to change this or that legally to do it. The Biden, Biden administration did not do that. It signaled to the world we were going to have an open border, and it used the powers of the government to facilitate that. The asylum laws, which they are hiding behind, they've destroyed the asylum system. They did. The Biden administration destroyed the asylum system, meaning it, we should not, we cannot consider that as an aspect of this. But when, when we look at why the Biden administration did this, they're playing this for 2024. Import into the country by opening the border, invite in an invasion. A lot of them are going to be special forces. This guy, Samadov, they think his name is Samadov. He was an Azerbaijani. Who is, by the way, if you are smart enough, you will know who I am. But you are really not smart enough to know who I am. But soon you're going to know who I am. But here is a guy who was a terrorist who was in prison who is saying... You will know who I am. Yeah, you don't That's know the same now. language as Bin Laden used. Yes. And, and his, his the exact uh, thing on all his messages. Right. And so he is there across the border. He is emboldened to say that to the American people. Oh, they're mocking us. Totally mocking us. And, and you know, why, but why are they doing that? It's not just about Democratic vo voters. I think this is about the demoralization of the 100%. American people. That you can't stop an invasion in your own country. And, and they see their yeah. elected leaders not yes. doing anything yes. about it. Yes. This is designed to de demoralize the well, When we talk about this as an invasion and they're coming across the border, that doesn't mean this is not going to get kinetic here yes. in America. Yes. What happens if there are terrorist attacks, right? We know there are Islamic terrorists have come across. We know there are Chinese military age men. We have to assume that these are, these are themselves military operatives. And so what will happen if they engage in America's major cities in a series of terrorist attacks that will effectively cause a kind of lockdown again in America? Oh, so we have to vote by uh, we have to mail vote and by, vote, right. vote by mail and ballot. Right. You don't you wouldn't think they would try to steal it again. Come on. You're not saying that. Well, remember this, Steve. You know, I, I, I'm a little more radical on this. 
I think I think we have not done enough to make sure that they're not going to steal. Oh, it. we haven't yeah. done. What are you talking about? Not nearly. The enough. seven swing states all still have mail in balloting. Yes, to same be sure. Problems. To be sure, the same problems. Right. We and, will, and Mark Elias on the trigger over there. Right. We we have not we have we have, we, no. we have not guaranteed this no. at all. If anybody no. thinks that, they no. they are sorely mistaken. No. 